hi guys welcome back to my channel um this is the look i've got for you today um warm eyeshadow color look paired with a bold lipstick i think this look is really really beautiful if you like this look please stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to my channel like comment and share this video thank you bye I've already primed my face and done my eyebrow as you can see in this clip it's using two palettes today the sample bt by the twin painters palette and be perfect carnival 3 and the primer we're using today is the nyx professional pore filler i'm basing my eye with the la pro concealer in the color fawn like i said i always like to base my eye first before i apply my eyeshadow so we base in the whole eye <laughs> now i'm patting it down i'm patting it in i'm not swiping it, i'm patting it in because i want the um the concealer to stay in using the beauty blender to blend it in nicely and again i'm doing the same on the other side of my eye i'm patting it down and not swiping the we're using sasha buttercup powder to set the concealer because like i said i always like a matte finish so from the carnival 3 we're using mango shade just above the crease area i am blending it in slowly i'm building it slowly because i want a seamless finish again i'm doing the same on the other side using the mango shade just above the crease area to blend it in the so I'm, I'm applying the same shade again blending it really well from the carnival 3 palette i went in with a sun down color which is a little bit more darker in the crease area to define the eye so that's what i'm doing and i've gone in again with a chili pepper from the same palette on the outer corner of my eye i'm doing a v motion i'm blending it in in a v motion this color is a little bit more um darker this color is more reddish color i'm trying to define the eye and i'm blending it really really well so we're using an angle brush and also the same concealer from la pro concealer in the color phone to cut a crease and we actually cut in just a half half a crease i'm doing the same on the other side as well i'm cutting a crease on the other side as well because we're actually going to apply a different eyeshadow in the crease area if you're not a pro just take your time and do it guys take your time to get the perfect finish now from the sample beauty palette we're going in with martini and we applying it in the area where i cut the crease um this color is really beautiful it's a shimmer color and it looks greeny like yellowy sort of shade and i love this shade so much so that's what i'm doing again i'm applying it on the other side as well where i cut the crease like take your time and do it if um you know if you're not um, if you're not used to doing makeup <laughs> We're going in again with Vino from the Sample Beauty palette and applying it on the outer corners of my eye to define the eye a little bit more. I'm blending the two together. The lighter shade in the crease and the outer corner shade, I'm blending the two together so that I get a seamless and a nice finish because I don't want any harsh, harsh lines. So I'm blending in to get a nice finish. <laughs> lining my eye now with the nyx professional makeup epic ink liner um since i've got a hooded eye my eyes are actually semi hooded so when i'm doing my liner i like to do it quite thin i don't like to do it thick liner and then it's going to accentuate the creases so i like to do my liners quite thin again i'm doing it on the other side as well i'm lining the eye <laughs> We're going in with the Maybelline Sky High Mascara to apply on the top um, lashes because um, we're going to apply the lashes, the false lashes, and we want it to grip very nicely. So I'm applying the mascara on it first before I applied the lashes. <music> 
yeah this is the lashes the lashes are really really beautiful it's very bold it was given to me by a friend i normally don't use bold lashes in my makeup looks but this make that is very very nice now i'm applying the glow on the brow bone we got a glow guys you got a glow it makes my eye pop when i do that so yep yeah, there you go so the foundation we're using today is from Juvia's Place and it's the I Am Magic and it's the color Zaria. I liked, I mean, at first I didn't like the Juvia's Place foundations, but I've learned to like them. When I apply the foundation on, it actually gives me an airbrush look, which I absolutely love. I mean, this color is not exactly my shade, uh, but it's okay. I'm normally a yellow undertone. This color is red undertone. I mean, it, it's still okay on my skin tone. We will do with that. We will do with that for today. And the concealer we're using today is the LA Pro Concealer in the color phone. We're applying it on all the places I want it to highlight. So we highlight under my eye, on my the bridge of my nose, and the rest of my face, and also on my forehead. All the places you want it to pop, I'm highlighting. I'm going in with my darker shade of concealer for all the contoured places. So now I'm going to blend it in with my beauty blender. Guys, um, this stage is very important. If you want your foundation to look or appear very seamless, take your time and blend it in really, really well because you want a seamless and really smooth finish so take your time and blend it really well you can use your preferred applicator you can use either a beauty blender if you prefer or a brush if you prefer i mean sometimes i do use a brush and sometimes i do use a beauty blender but when it comes to the highlighting i normally like to use my beauty blender because i tend to like the finish it gives me again i'm going in with a beauty being be bigger beauty blender to blend it in i'm taking my time to blend it in so that it doesn't have any patches or it doesn't have any hash lines so we're going in with a sasha buttercup setting powder and we're going to set all the places where i've applied the concealer just to set it in this will stop the concealer and the foundation to move so yeah that's what we're using at the moment this is my absolute favorite setting powder you see that i always use it all the time in my videos you know i like the way it looks i like how fine it is and i like the finishing it gives me so yeah i'm using the sasha buttercup <laughs> going in again under my eye okay this is from the sample beauty we're using venor again to apply on my lower lid the lower lid of my eye that's the shade Veno. and i'm lining my eye with a pencil a pencil from Rommel. and i'm going in again with the maybelline sky high mascara and applying it on the lower lid of my eye I really have like really, really fine lashes, but this mascara is very good. It gives me a little bit of length and it gives me a little bit of volume as well. So that's why I do like this. It's my favorite mascara at the moment. So we're going in now to swipe off the powder of my face. Um, yep, yeah, with a brush. <laughs> Finally, I'm setting my face with my powder. This is the shade, same shade as my skin tone and it's from Benefit and it's a Hello Happy and it's color 11. And we're going in again with glow on the cheek area. And guys, we got a glow. We got a glow. And now I'm applying my blusher and the blush I'm using is actually an eyeshadow from Juvia's Place Palette. I can't remember, but I'll let you know. Anything that I haven't mentioned, I'll let you know in my comment bar. I'm applying my lipstick at the moment. I just realized that I've cut half of my face. I've cut my lip off, you know, and my mirror has been in the way the whole time as well. I did not realize, but I cut a little bit of the footage out, but I'm not going to cut this footage. I decided to leave it in. So yeah, we're using the lipstick. The lipstick is actually from mac i can't remember the name but anything that i haven't mentioned i'm going to leave it in my comment bar below and we applying eyelashes on 
just one eyelash at the bottom lid to give it a little bit of a touch give it a nice touch to it so this is a close-up of the eyeshadow it's so beautiful i like warm colors i just realized that warm colors look really really pretty and it makes my eye pop as well this is the end finish i hope you like this look if you like this look guys like i said please um uh, hit the subscribe button share this video um like comment and yeah the video the look is really nice the warm color is really nice my eye is popping take care bye